So today, we're doing pattern beauty. First, I'm going in with the, what is this? First, I'm gonna go in with the pattern hydration shampoo. So let's get into this. If you haven't already, go ahead and check the wash and go video I did before this. That is the one I'm rinsing out. It's the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel with the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I really enjoyed that wash and go, but there's some changes I want to make and you're going to have to watch that if you haven't already to see why I potentially want to make those changes, but I'm just rinsing that out and moving forward. So this is what my hair looks like after being wet down for like five minutes. I typically like to section my hair and shampoo that way, but today I just really don't feel like it. So I'm just going to go in with the shampoo like regularly and I may or may not go ahead and put my hair in those sections with the shampoo. Ooh, what a... For like two seconds, I thought I put conditioner in my hand. It doesn't have like a super strong scent, but it does smell good. Oh, I love this smell and I don't know why. So it's not lathering very much. That's okay, I'll just get some more. My hair does feel like a little cleaner, but as you guys can see, I didn't go through all my hair with all of that. I just kind of focused on like the perimeter and my scalp. And it's very gentle, it's a very gentle shampoo, so I will have to shampoo twice. As you can see, after that second shampoo, my hair really ate that up. I think this is a good gentle shampoo. It's definitely gentle, so it could be used just one time, could use it twice, but it doesn't have like an overpowering smell. It smells like, just like a very basic shampoo. I do really like that. I like faint smelling hair products, especially when it comes to like shampoo. I'm rinsing this out, going in with the intensive conditioner. Creamy. Ooh, it's so thick, wow. And creamy. Okay, now that I have conditioner on my hair, I'm just gonna separate it into sections. Here I'm trying out the Petite Denman D38 and immediately I noticed it was just a lot easier for me to handle and hold in the shower than the regular size Denman D38. I do like both of those brushes and I'm gonna have to keep practicing with them. I may have to take smaller sections with them, um, but overall, if you asked me what tool do you prefer out of all the tools you've used right now, I think it's gonna be the Felicia Leatherwood. It's still just a lot easier to get through my head. It's a lot less tugging. I really didn't like the Felicia Leatherwood at first, but trying these products is making me realize I do. I already like this one better than the bigger one. It's just so much easier to hold and so much easier to handle. More conditioner. The conditioner feels good. It does feel moisturizing. It doesn't have amazing slip upon first putting it on your hair. You do have to work it in. My hair does feel moisturized though, so we'll see after I come back from deep conditioning how my hair feels, but I don't know. I like it. It's thick, it goes on really thick, but it doesn't feel like it goes on, but it still feels really good. My hair feels really soft.
while I do like this brush a lot, like I'm actually gonna use this more, I still find myself reaching a lot for my Felicia Leatherwood when it gets to the really hard places. I'm not gonna keep like trying to get in there when I just feel like I'm doing the most. I'll pick up a different tool that'll get in there better. Here, I'm just showing myself using the Denman. And again, I kind of just have to really, I don't know, it, it gives me a little bit of a tug where I feel like I'm having to tug a little bit harder, go a little bit slower because I'm really having to just pull a little bit more. Whereas with the Felicia Leatherwood, I still do have to kind of like tug. It's a brush, you're detangling your hair, but it just grips the hair more. As you guys can see, starting off again at the ends, just kind of working my way up. I just feel like the teeth go completely through my hair. It goes up further quicker and I can really feel where I'm starting to get some tension and I can just slow down and go through, but it just gets me to the top of my hair faster and it really detangles my roots a lot more thoroughly than the bristles on the Petite Denman D38 can. But again, it's a great brush. I really be trying to make these Denmans work, but it might just be a wash because at least at this point, I'm still really liking my Felicia Leatherwood over <laughs> all of the tools that I've tried. I'm gonna add more all over my hair. Again, while this feels really creamy in my hands, I feel like I have to like add a good amount to my hair. I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how my hair feels and we're gonna style. Okay. So I have deep conditioned for like an hour under the hooded dryer in and out. Let's see what she's looking like. Oh, my hair feels soft, feels good. You can kind of smell it. It still has that faint smell that the product has, of course, so it's not overpowering or anything, but I'm about to rinse this out. My hair feels great. My hair feels incredibly soft. It feels moisturized. I like the intensive conditioner. I like it a lot. Next, I'm trying the Pattern Beauty Leave-In and I'm just gonna apply that before I go in with the second styling product. So, it's a good amount. The whole line smells the same. It's like this faint, almost floral perfume smell that I love and I don't know why, but it's so subtle. softening whoa it reminds me of my weed odd moisture lock leave-in how it goes on but it it's really softening whoa <laughs> i feel like a child whoa this is amazing wow wasn't expecting that but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it all throughout my hair so i can give it time to sit in my hair so that when i go in to put in a styler everything is that time to get moisturized of course, I'm getting my hair nice and wet before I apply the leave-in each time. I'm telling y'all, I'm genuinely surprised by this leave-in conditioner right now. What? This is really good. I'm mesmerized right now by this leave-in. I just feel like it's really holding in all that water and I cannot understand why I'm having so much slip, but I'm, I'm living for this leave-in right now. It's crazy. As y'all can see, I'm being generous because I just feel like it's necessary. I'm loving the smell of this in my hair right now. Now that I have the leave-in applied everywhere, I'm gonna go in with the styling custard. I'm just gonna take small sections out of each section and apply it that way. It's super like slimy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very slimy, very gooey, just like a botanical gel, or at least like some botanical gels. So it's giving botanical. 
The tip is to use a shower brush to gently work styling custard through hair, starting at ends working towards the roots to get juicy definition. On clean, damp hair, apply to small sections, smooth from root to tip, and style as desired. So, yes, I'm gonna take small sections and I'm gonna smooth this in, and we are gonna hop in there. Again, the whole line has this very faint, floralish but clean scent that I, it's really growing on me. I remember when I first smelled it, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Like I couldn't pinpoint it, but I, I really like it. Hair is feeling soft. There's a little bit of definition, kind of not really going on there, but hair is feeling soft. I'm gonna part this into like a third and I'm gonna do small sections. I am taking that much. Custard and apply. Ooh, starting at the ends is a key winner. I'm so curious to see how this is gonna turn out because this is going on very smoothly. I decided that I am gonna turn on the water and like dip my hands underneath the water to add some water to my hair, but I don't think I'm gonna douse my hair in the water this time, just to try something new. so different since I'm not like putting a bunch of water on it and I don't know how I feel about it yet okay we'll just see of course I decided to go ahead and douse my hair in some water on the other side because as I was going on you know the conditioner the leave-in conditioner had a little more time to sit in my hair and soak in so it did need a little bit more water so I just decided to go ahead and wet that and then apply the custard on top As y'all can see, it's really defined. That's just with the leave-in conditioner sitting in it. I just keep getting more and more pleasantly surprised. Taking this small section, and I'm adding a good amount of custard to it. I found that I need to add more custard than I was at the beginning. And it's so much easier for me to style, because on this side, I went back and forth between not adding water so I didn't add water on this side before I put in the product and then I did add some water on this side and I noticed it foams up a lot more over here, which isn't what I like. It doesn't on this side, it still foams up, but it doesn't, the texture doesn't change and make it feel as if the products are like setting up and mixing up together in a way that means that I added too much water. And since they're already like defined by the leave-in, can you see this? All it's doing is casting over these curls. Let them go, and they are free. Because I'm me, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And just press in with my thumb, or I could just go ahead and separate them. 
I don't think this is shingling because I'm not going around and like twirling it on my finger. I'm just dropping them and leaving them like that. I thought that I could do my hair without using these clips to hold the hair that's done, but no, I cannot. I'm using that motion with my fingers to like press the product into the curls and doing a little less more of that and just like finger combing it. But just pressing it in. I added some water to this side before I put in the custard and I didn't add any to this side, so I'm gonna see. Look at how they look different. Huh. It's as if this side is clumped really well. Now that it's sat with the water in, this side is still clumped really well, it's just not as wet. I'm gonna wet it just a little bit. I want the top of my head to look the best, so I'm gonna take really small sections up here and make sure I'm working that product in. So my camera overheated for a second, but I left this bit to show you guys how I'm styling my bangs. As I said before, I'm really taking my time in the front. So with this, I'm going to, where do I want this to go? I want most of this to still go forward. So I'm gonna take this sliver, push that back, taking a good amount. I still get close to the roots. So I can feel the curls separating. And because I want it to be clean, I'm just gonna separate them like this. I'm not gonna shake my head. I'm just gonna go under the dryer. This last middle section, I can't see very well, but I feel like I need to get more product on my roots. Add the rest of this to the front because so I don't know what to do with it. Okay, this is probably going to be really voluminous, which is great. Ooh, my hair feels. 
feels very light. Very light. So it's probably gonna dry pretty quickly. Just hit one of these. Bring the back out a little bit. A little light. There, that's good. I'm not gonna lie, I did use a good amount of this because it wasn't full to the brim, but I used a good amount, about a, a third. I also used a good amount of this, not a whole lot. Like, hmm, I can get a lot more uses out of this, but. The custard I use a little bit more. Because this is a review of Just Pattern Beauty, I'm not gonna use my Aveda heat protectant, I'm just gonna sit under the dryer. I'm gonna let you guys know how long I sat under the dryer. I'm, it's giving, it's gonna dry quickly, which is great, but I'll come back and show you when it's dry. I'm letting my hair air dry for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna sit under the dryer. But I just wanted to show it looks a lot less flat than it would, I don't know, I guess it looks fuller to me right now than it does when I use stronger holding products. We'll see. Okay, so I just got from underneath the dryer. My hair is like 95% dry. The top of my head is still a little wet, but I'm not about to sit under the dryer any longer. My hair still smells like the product, that faint florally smell, which I love. I really, it's, I'm really liking this right now. You guys can see the curls are very, very shrunken, very, very defined. I didn't have to shake my hair very hard at all. I barely even shook my head. And that was, I think, because of how I chose to style my hair. It's giving me a more hydrated, shrunken look, and I don't have a lot of stretch or length to the curls, which is okay because I'm going to stretch this. I'm gonna probably leave the bangs alone. They're doing pretty well, but everything else I feel like could use a stretch. Just a little look before I stretch it out. This is my hair after stretching, which it looks so good to me. Here is a closer look. It's so soft, it feels really good. You can kind of tell, I feel like, by from my hands and how I'm touching it. I think it looks really good. I had a good time using the product and I'm surprised. Like, I'm actually surprised. I. I don't know, like celebrity hair brands, I don't always have high expectations for any hair brand, any hair brand, except for the ones that are like super hyped, you know? And Pattern Beauty is pretty mixed. Like there's pretty mixed reviews. Not really sure how it'll work out for me. So I was like, mm, do I really need it? No. That leave-in conditioner, need it. The custard, I'm gonna work with it. I like it a lot. It's giving me pretty good definition. It's not extremely defined, but it is very much defined. It has volume. It's kind of giving me my day three, day four hair on day one, which is what I wanted, which is exactly what I wanted. So I think this looks good. You guys let me know what you think. It's like 4.15 in the afternoon, so I'm calling this day one hair. I really like it. So I am going to chill for the rest of the day and I will see you guys tomorrow on day two. My laundry is going, so sorry if you can hear it, but we are on day two. So this is my day two hair. This is really reminiscent of before I used to use gels because I was, I could use a cream, I could use a custard, of course I use leave-ins, but gels just never, I didn't really know how to use them. I did not have super high expectations, I just didn't. And when I used the products, I still didn't have super high expectations, except for that leave-in. I immediately knew that leave-in was a keeper. And, but the custard, I was like, I don't know. I love the way it felt, and I did like the way it was going on, but I just wasn't sure. And I don't like to assume before some my hair is dry, because, 
that's when it all really matters. Look at the like heart shape that's going on. Oh, I'm in love. So yeah guys, day two hair definitely surprised me. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving angles. It's giving groomed. It's giving, I get my hair cut. It's giving shape. I just love the fullness, like the density that this gives me immediately. Whereas with like some of my botanical gels, of course, it all hangs down really low, but when it shrinks up, it shrinks up into more of a cast. I guess this is why this is a custard. But day two hair down. I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow on day three, but I can guarantee you, I'm probably like not gonna be able to stretch this any longer than about four days max, just because of how voluminous it already is, which is goals, it's what I want. But also because of the lack of like hold, it's just gonna shrink up more and more and this it's just gonna need to be redone. So it's day three. I need everybody to know that this is what my wash and goes used to look like. These are the type of wash and goes that are very much Britney, very much Britney. When my hair was really short, I wanted it to be as defined as possible because I thought that looked the best. And as it's grown out, I've continued with that process of using gels. That's when I discovered gels. When I first big chopped my hair in 2020, I was into custards, I was into gels, I was into the botanical gels specifically. And then as I met Brianna, you know, as I watched more videos, as I learned more, I was like, you know, there's other types of gels. Let me get into it. Let me see if they'll work for me because when gels were all the rage, when everybody was eco styler and wet lining it up, like they still are today, no shade at all. But what I'm saying is I could never get those gels to work for me. They gave me this crunchy, like really weird, but not super defined hair. I had to use so much of it. It felt so weird. But as I'm growing my hair out and I'm realizing I do use a lot of gel in my hair when I'm defining my hair, I do use a good amount of product and because I don't use leave-ins as often and I'm experimenting more with gels, I'm seeing the results that I would get with longer hair. It's gonna give me that flat, crunchy hair look the first few days and then as the days go by, it's finally gonna get to what I want it to look like. I don't like that. I want day one hair to be the best. I want day two hair to be even better, day three hair to be even better. And this is exactly what this has given me. I realize like as I do my reviews, cause they're not really, reviews they're more so me trying and seeing how they work for me. it's a review me trying and seeing how the product works for me but not a thorough like this product does this and these are the ingredients and i just use the product and i see how it works on my hair in the best way i can so now that i'm venturing my way back into custards and creamy products that would typically be used for like a twist out or a braid out but i like to use for a wash and go to give me that volume and that definition i'm starting to be really nuanced in what it is that I like for my wash and goes. So I'm beyond the point of, I know how to hydrate my hair. My hair is hydrated with water. That happened over time. I know how I like my hair to look. I know I like to find hair with volume. I know that I like shape and not just long hair. I like very intentional shapes as I'm growing out my hair because my intention is still to grow my hair out. What this wash and go has done for me is just taken me back like three, four years to before I've done the gel before I've heard of the 30 day detox, before I've done anything for my wash and goes. I was always a wash and go girl. I just didn't know what I was doing, but I knew what I liked. So while I may not have known exactly what I was doing, I knew what I liked. Looking at this wash and go has made me remember what my old routine was, which was get in the shower. When my hair was long, I would wash my hair in twists and sections, not take those out, really focusing on my scalp. I would go in with a deep conditioner, rinse that out, and then I would go straight in with some kind of cream, some kind of curl defining cream, and that was it. But also sometimes I'd be like, okay, I have a good cream, it's gonna define my curls, it's gonna make them nice and fluffy. What can I use to also define them? It was always a custard. It was always a custard. It was always a custard. I don't think I've tried too many custard as of late. I think this is one of the first custards I've tried in a while. I can't really think. Obviously the kinky curly custard is a custard, um, but this is, different. This one was more watery. It was a little more runny. It didn't give the consistency of what a botanical jello like flaxy like gel would. It was more watery, more runny. And I didn't just, I just didn't have faith. I didn't have a lot of faith in this product at all. And I'm really, 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 really happy that I've tried these products. Now I understand why so many people were like, you have to try the pattern beauty leave-in. You have to try the pattern beauty leave-in. Cause I'd watch reviews and they'd be like, oh, it's a nice leave-in, it's good. This is a really good leave-in conditioner. This is one of the best leave-in conditioners I have ever used. 
and I've used this one time. It does what like a combination of products for me can do. Just this one product because it gives that, that hydrating, moisturized feeling of like a water-based leave-in, but also that creamy feel of like a super duper creamy leave-in conditioner. And I think that it's a good mixture between the two. It's, it's a pretty creamy leave-in conditioner, but it's also not super thick. But when it goes onto your hair, when it goes onto my hair at least, my hair said, thank you for whatever is in this because I need it and I need it now. Y'all look at my hair. First of all, Brianna be doing her damn thing when she be shaping my hair, I'm trying to tell y'all. But look at the shape of my hair. Look at the volume. I don't have to do a lot of fluffing. It's like a good amount of volume everywhere. When I walk outside and the wind blows my hair, it comes back into this shape. And it's just insane. I know I talk about in my videos how I'm sick of my short hair, which I do be sick of my short hair, but these kind of wash and goes make me feel like it's whatever. Look at my hair. It looks fantastic. Can't nobody tell me otherwise. Can't nobody tell me my hair don't look good. I know it looks good. Thank you. I could probably wear this for another day, another day or two. This is day three hair. I could stretch this to five days if I wanted. I do want to reset my hair. I'm going to try some other Pattern Beauty products that I purchased and we're gonna get a wash, another wash and go going. I'm wearing a lip mask, so sorry if my lips are like peeling. Another thing I like about this, I've, of course I've done no separating. I've done really nothing. I sat under the dryer, dried my hair, got out, did a couple of these, stretched it a little bit. I haven't stretched it since. I've just let it kind of shrink up how it's shrunken up and it looks great. The Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner and the Curling Custard, right now I have to give them 10 out of 10 because I've had no problems. I love a good gentle shampoo because they don't completely raise the pH balance to what a clarifying shampoo would and I don't always need to clarify my hair. I'm working on dialing back the clarifying because I looked up and realized I was clarifying my hair like every other week and I'm like, why am I clarifying my hair so much? I don't need to do that. So I really did enjoy the gentle shampoo. I can't say that it was one of my favorite products because I mean, it was shampoo, it did its job, but just not one of my favorites, but it was a good shampoo. The Intensive Moisture Conditioner, 10. It was so hydrating, so moisturizing for my hair. Yes, I've had great wash and goes this year. Like hands down great wash and goes so far in 2023. Had some hiccups with some flaking and whatnot, but it's always worth trying. It's fun to try. So uh, tell me what you guys think. I'm really excited. I'm just excited all the time when I look at my hair because I just love it. I just love wash and goes. I just love wearing my curls. And I just love that every little thing you do matters when it comes to the results. And what I did was that. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below for this wash and go and keep your eyes peeled because I will be posting another pattern booty wash and go video. So go ahead and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are alerted when that goes up. See you in the next video.